Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Bar, where we do things differently. The next construction project on the farm is to put a raised bed there. Uh, raised bed like, like that one over there. We've built them in a few different sizes and by now I reckon I've made all the mistakes that it's possible to make. So um, let's show you how to make one. Of course we'll uh, line it up with the existing beds and use the same spacing because basically that's what we can fit the lawnmower through. For this project we're using H4 tunnelized timber, uh, tongue and groove that fits together nicely like that and that gives us a nice uh, dirt proof join on the walls. We have taken lengths of timber um, and cut them basically into two thirds and one third there. So we've got two thirds length there, one third length there. Uh, minimizes the number of cuts we have to make. Um, it's actually based on the length of my trailer, but never mind. Because the wood is treated, we have lined the boxes with heavy duty black polythene. Yeah, the tricky part is the corner. So uh, let's start by making a bunch of corner posts. To get that nice pointy effect on the end, which sheds rain and stops the posts from rotting, we've marked off at 70 millimeters a line here. This line is where we will put the edge of, excuse me, uh, the base plate of this uh, rather ancient skill saw. And I've determined that when I cut along that line, the angled saw blade will cut and uh, the centre of the cut will then be at the centre of this post. I just turn the post over several, four times and um, yeah, we have a point. Let's do that, shall we? Oh, just get some eye protection in a moment. 35 degrees. <laughs> You can see that cuts halfway down, so that's going to make a nice point. I'll finish that off. And there we go. To connect our 200 by 50 millimeter bits of tongue and groove to our 100 millimeter square posts, we are using, thank you, Kanye, we are using these 125 millimeter long bugle headed batten screws, 14 gauge and galvanized for exterior use. To put it all together you are going to need a very powerful uh, torquey drill like that because those purling screws are hellish difficult to put in. You'll also need a driver so uh, I haven't got one so I'm going to take this and saw a chunk off. You need starting holes, my preferred starting hole driller is a 6mm doweling bit on my little cordless drill, a couple of clamps to hold stuff together while I'm screwing it up, tri square for laying everything out, and some Vaseline which everyone knows is an aid to screwing. However, the weather is bloody miserable at the moment, so let's go to Wellington and drink some beer instead. Mmm, that's good. Now, anyway, back to work. If you want to see just how windy it got, Sorry about the wind noise. Um, well, we've got some more firewood. Anyway, back to building the box. Have you got all the bits? And the safety gear? And the pen? Right, let's plug in the mains and get on with it. Then we put 50 millimeter marks on to line up our screws. So they're 50 millimeters in on one side and 100 on the other. Drill the pilot holes. A bit of Vaseline on the screws. It's easier when you get the clamps off, but 
all you got to do is that 48 times. Well, bugger, I put me pilot dirt in just the wrong place. Now, I'll set up a time lapse camera, move all this, and we'll get through it really quickly. For now, that's your lot, down on Geeko Farm.